afternoon year two and welcome to your first music lesson of this term. I would like you to write your date and skill into your book please. The date today is Wednesday the 24th of February 2021 and your skill is to use your voice expressively. I'd like you to write this in your book and then unpause the video when you're ready to begin please. Off you go. Okay, this term in music, we are going to be exploring different ways to use our voices. And you might be able to think back to last term in term three, when we explored how to use our voices expressively um, when we were reading. We, some of us uh, spoke like a robot, we spoke like a lion, lots of different fun ways to use our voice. So, I would like you now to talk to your talk partner. How many different ways can you use your voice? I would like you to come up with an example as well. You might even have a go using your voice in that way um, with your partner. And I'd like you to pause the video and do this now, please. Okay, so I'm sure you've come up with lots of amazing examples. Here are just a few examples of how you might use your voice. You might shout, you might talk, whisper, you could sing, and you could even do some yodeling. Throughout this term then, we are going to have a go creating our rhymes, which we will perform expressively. So this is going to be our, our work, this term in music, for the term. And this means that you will need to use your voice in different ways throughout the rhyme. Some parts might be louder than others, some parts might be used, you might use a deep voice, and some parts you might use your normal voice. So this is what we're going to be practicing today. So you'll have to get your acting hats on now, year two. Okay, so I'd like you to talk to your talk partner. What sort of different voices could you use? And a little tip to give you a bit of a hint. Think about your favorite characters and how they sound. There's some pictures here of your favorite characters that I know you all love in year two. Okay, and think about how they talk, how they sound. And I'd like you to pause the video and you can either chat with the person next to you, have a discussion with your grown up or think on your own. Pause the video now, please. Okay, well done. I'm sure you've all come up with lots of lovely ideas there. So for your first task today then, can you say, hello, how are you, in each of these voices? So you might use a deep voice, speaking really slowly, a really tired voice, speaking really quickly, like an alien, when you're really happy, really upbeat voice, you might whisper, you might talk like a baby, when you're in a rush, they're gonna be talking quite fast there, aren't you? High pitched voice, like a cowboy and like a robot. So I would like you to say, hello, how are you, in each of these voices. I'd like you to pause the video and have a go at this now, please. Have fun. Well done, really good acting there, you two. Okay, so for your second task today then. You're now going to choose your six favourite voices from those that you've practised, those, those you've just had a go at, and you're going to write them in a numbered list into your book. So these are the voices that you've just used and you're going to choose your favourite six. So I don't want you to write anything just yet. I just want you to have a little think, what were your six favourite voices that you used? I'd like you to pause the video and just think about this, please. Okay, so hopefully now then, you have your six favourite voices and you are now going to write them in a numbered list into your book. Now I've just put three as an example, but you're going to have six of your favourites. So for example, my first one would be a deep voice, my second one is like a cowboy, and the third one is when you're really happy, talking when you're really pleased or really happy, okay? And I have put them in a numbered list, so I've put my, my number, in, you're going to write this into your margin when you're doing it in your book, and then you write the um, voice you're going to use next to it. Okay, and you're going to write your six into your book now, please. Off you go. Well done. Hopefully you've got your list already then. Okay, so the second part of our second task then, you're going to read a poem out loud using each of the voices that you've written down in your numbered list. So you've got your six voices and you're going to use each of them now to read a poem. You can either do them in the order you've written them, so do the first one first, second one second, or you could use a dice, roll a dice, and then say you roll a two, you first, then you are going to set, use your second favourite voice first, okay? Up to you how you do this. If you don't have a dice, then you can just do them in order, or you can just pick them at random, okay? So, there are two poems for you, for you to read today. You can choose to do one or the other, or alternate with each different voice you use. Let's read through them on the next slide. So, in keeping with our mini beast theme then, we've got the mosquito and the wasp poem. So, let's have a look at the mosquito first. So I'm just going to say it in a normal voice, and then you're going to say it using your um, character voices. 
So, mosquito whining in my ear. I can't sleep when you are near. You buzz and hover by my head. You circle around and around my bed. I pull the covers over my face and hope you'll buzz off someplace. So that's the mosquito poem. And then here is the wasp poem. It's an insect, not a spider. It has six le legs instead of eight. Three on this side, three on that side, and it's crawling on your plate. Ooh, okay, so that's the wasp poem. So I would now like you to complete your activity by reading one of these poems. You can choose, you can do choose one and of these poems, or you might even like to do both if you really want to, and use your six voices that you've got in your numbered list now. Pause the video, please. Well done, really good acting. Okay, so the last little activity for today then. Which voice was your favourite out of all of them and why? And I'd like you to write a sentence into your book telling me which voice was your favourite and why it was your favourite. Once you've done that, well done year two and have a lovely afternoon. Goodbye.